One suggestion on how to make public transportation all the more safe was the so-called transport bubble. What it is, who is proposing it, and what some people think about it is the topic of this week's Motoring Forum. Presidential advisor for entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion has made an interesting, if not controversial, proposal. Why not deploy buses that will only be used exclusively by those who have already been vaccinated? Drivers and conductors in these buses must also be vaccinated. Those still to be vaccinated can take other buses designated for the non-vaccinated. The proposal has been given the term transport bubble. Concepcion has defended the proposed transportation bubble in interviews with media, saying there is a need to protect people from moving from their home to their workplace in a transport that will prevent them from getting infected. The proposal seems illogical to some who say that the whole idea behind vaccinations is to already give people some protection against the deadly contagion. So why the need for a transportation bubble? Isn't this redundant? Already people are mandated to wear masks, face shields, maintaining social distancing, avoid talking or answering phones, and not to eat while in public transport. Also, vaccination doesn't guarantee people won't get infected, say the experts. What it does increase is the chance the infected only experience mild symptoms. The question of discrimination has inevitably risen. To some, separate buses for vaccinated and non-vaccinated seems like segregation. The bad kind of segregation. Conception argues his main concern in proposing the transport bubble is all about health. After hearing about the proposal in a meeting with Concepcion, Secretary Artugada said the DOTR is ready to support private sector initiatives, including a transfer bubble aimed at fighting the spread of the COVID-19 contagion. Secretary Artugada said that the DOTR will request assistance to vaccinate drivers who will be deployed on buses if a transport bubble is implemented. Malacanang has also said it was open to implementing a transfer bubble in Metro Manila, but the priority at the moment is to achieve some measure of population protection. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque has been quoted in media interviews saying a transport bubble will be discussed once population protection has been reached. He also mentioned that 50% of the population in Metro Manila may be vaccinated by the end of August. Perhaps, once this is reached, a transport bubble may be implemented. The national government as well as local government units and with the help of the private sector has been ramping up efforts to vaccinate more people against COVID-19. As of last count, around 12.8 million Filipinos have been fully vaccinated. With the encouragement of the government, private companies have offered various incentives to get more people vaccinated. These include discounts at retail shops and free rides on trains or on buses for people who have completed their vaccination. Concepcion has also proposed to restrict the people who have not been vaccinated from entering establishments like malls, restaurants, and shops to encourage more people to get vaccinated. The transport bubble can also be seen as encouraging people to get the peace of mind that some people get from being vaccinated. Merit to implementing a transport bubble, but how it will be implemented is crucial. The more significant question is will the people concerned, the passengers, and the transport operators accept the idea? That's our Motor Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.